What is up people, Matt here. So today's video is going to be a discussion video and as you can probably tell by the title of the video it is going to be about the aspects of a game so what aspects go into a game to make a game. Um, so I've got a list, uh, it is actually ordered from most, in, well least important to most important I suppose. Um, there's only five points but let's just get on with it then shall we. So at number five Let's just get this out of the way, graphics. Um, I'm not a graphics snob, I know there are a lot of people that are. I'm not really bothered about graphics. If you take a look at a game like Minecraft, it hasn't got good graphics. But it's one of the most beloved games ever. Uh, just recently I've been playing Shovel Knight. 8-bit graphics, one of the best games I've played in a long, long time. So graphics really don't matter. If a game's got nice graphics, great. But, you know, it's not going to... If if someone sacrifices... If they focus on graphics and sacrifice everything else, then it's pointless. It's a waste of time and it's not a very good decision. So, at number four, we've got the genre. So, the genre of a game. So, it's very important that when making a game, the genre fits the game. What do I mean by this? Final Fantasy, for example, is a... It's an RPG, whether it's turn-based or not. So, when they made a Final Fantasy shooter, Dirge of Cerberus, I haven't played it, that's not right. Final Fantasy is turn-based. You should stick to what the game suits. That's all I can say about it, really. Uh, number three, the music in a game. Very, very important, I feel. If a game has nice music and I like listening to it, great. I've even got a couple of soundtracks. But I'll talk about that um, later on. So, number two, we've got the story, the lore. Another very important aspect. If I'm interested in the story or I like the lore behind it, um, generally speaking, you can tell if a game's got a good story because you can go out your way to look at more story off of the game, just out of the outside of the game. So, for example, a lot of people might feel that Halo doesn't have a very good story because it's a shooter. I think it's an exception to the rule because I actually have looked up stuff outside of the Halo games for more to get more information on it. Um, it probably helps that it's got other medias of storytelling like the um, doc uh, not documentaries, the TV show, etc, um, etc. Et and obviously the number one most important aspect I feel is the gameplay. If the gameplay is good, I'll probably play it, or at least if the gameplay is good but everything else isn't so great, I'm like, okay, well at least it's fun to play. I'll, you know, keep playing it. If the gameplay is rubbish, I'm probably not going to bother forcing myself through the game. Um, but those were the five important aspects. I've got a couple of games here to give as examples. Um, now, obviously, this is totally my opinion. You might disagree or agree with what I, you know, my opinion. So let's start off with Fallout 3. Now, the graphics in Fallout 3 aren't too great, although it did come out in I think 2008. So hit and miss with the graphics in Fallout. I feel. Um, the music in Fallout is great. I love listening to all the songs on the, the radio on it. Um, yeah, I love the music. I even listen to them outside of the game, so you can tell it's good music. Uh, number three, the genre. Okay, yep. Yeah, this game is... I feel that the Fallout 3 and New Vegas are perfect examples of what the Fallout uh, game should stay as now. I think this is what Fallout should be. It should be a third or first person open world RPG um, that's how it should be they've got the genre you know down to a T number two okay now the story in Fallout 3 and New Vegas I actually liked I liked the fact you you were born in a vault born in a vault and your dad runs off and then you're like oh my dad's gone I better go find him in the wasteland that is a good story I think it's quite a good story although a lot of people will say it's not a very good story I do think it is and obviously number one gameplay now Fallout has the, one of the best some of the best gameplay I've you know ever had the pleasure of playing that's why Fallout is one of my favourite games on the Xbox 360 so let's go on to the next one Bloodborne 
Now, the graphics in Bloodborne are good, especially for a PlayStation 4 game, an exclusive. The music in Bloodborne, there's not a lot of music in the game, so I can't really fairly judge it, but there is some cool music tracks in boss fights and stuff like that. The genre, once again, Bloodborne has pretty much perfected the genre of the kind of action RPG-ish, hack and slash. It's just got it down to a nail now, basically. The story in Bloodborne is a bit of a weird one. The Souls games don't have a good reputation for having a good story, um, especially if you don't look stuff up. But I thought Bloodborne was okay. I was interested in the hunters and the blood beasts and the church and all that. It was quite interesting. I didn't really look up anything outside the game. Um, but it's okay. The story's alright, I guess. Um, and obviously, number one, the gameplay. But once again, as I said, Bloodborne has perfected the Dark Souls gameplay to a T. It's, you know, it's seamless now. It's I don't think they could improve it, to be honest. I think that's it in the gameplay department. Um... This is going to be a very controversial one. Final Fantasy XIII. Okay, now the graphics are fucking amazing for this game. Especially for when it came out, which was about... I think it was about 2000... And, was it 2008? Or it might have been 2009. Um, so this game was fucking mental in the graphics department. It looks amazing. I mean, even like the box art and the character models just look freaking fantastic. Um, music, again... I love the music, or the genre. The genre is fine. I mean, everyone loves, you know, turn-based, but I actually don't mind the gameplay in this or the genre that this is now. I'm okay with it. So music, I love the music in this game. There's not a track I don't like, really. I would really like to buy the soundtrack for these games, but the Final Fantasy soundtracks are quite a bit of money, which is a shame. Um... Story, again, I love the characters in Final Fantasy. Love them. I like the story in all of the 13 games, although a lot of people hate them. I like them, okay? And obviously, number one, gameplay in it. Okay, it's not a turn-based RPG. They tried something a little different. Some people think it didn't work. Others think it was quite good. I'm in the quite good camp. I thought the gameplay was fun in this. Yes, okay, you could auto-battle your way through the entire game, pretty much. But that's your choice. If you want to be lazy, do that. But if you want to get into the intricacies or, you know, get into the complex system of Final Fantasy XIII, it can be a bit challenging, it can be a bit more skill-based. But I thought the game playing this was a good game. And this is a good game, okay? This is not a bad game, this is not a bad Final Fantasy game, whatsoever. And my final one, I've got an example of Samurai Warriors 4. Now, a lot of people give shit to the Warriors franchise as a whole because apparently it's the same thing every single time. And it is. Okay, I'm not going to argue. I can't argue. It's the same thing every time. But I enjoy it. The graphics in Samurai Warriors 4 are amazing. Especially the next generation version on PS4. Compared to the old games, it's, it's mental how good it is. Um, the genre... Warriors has got the hack and slash nailed. I think it's probably the best hack and slash series out there, to be fair. Um, a lot of people are going to go mental over me saying that, but I do think that's the best. I think it's the best hack and slash genre. Music, love Samurai Warriors music, love all Warriors music. Um, there's a couple of tracks I especially like in the games, but overall the music's pretty good anyway, in battle or anything else. Just good music, good soundtrack. Uh, story, okay, now here's where we get a bit rough. I like the Warriors story in Dynasty and Samurai. I like the feudal Japan and I like ancient China. I actually have looked up like all the real stuff that happened. So I do actually like the story. It's based around um, in, both, in both eras. So I think the story in the Warriors games are good if you invest in it. Um, they do say a few things that are over exaggerated or don't really happen in the games to make it a bit more exciting but I can't blame them for that and number one I think as I said the Warriors gameplay has nailed it the hack and slash games that just they've, they've perfected it I think pretty much like the gameplay is fine 
It's just people get a bit fed up with it being the same every time, apparently. But that's how it is. They've done it well. They can't improve on it, I don't think. There's a couple of improvements, but it's nothing major. They can't change the whole gameplay. It just wouldn't work. But yeah, those were the five aspects that make a game in order. Um, that's all I've got to say, really, for this video. Those are a couple of examples, and that's about it, really. Um, let me know what you think about the games I made and your opinion on the aspects of the game, of what a game makes, uh, what aspects of what makes a game, rather. Um, but yeah, as always, thank you for watching this video, and I will definitely see you on the next one. Bye now.